What's up, dirt shredders? Here to uh, give you my take on the Shockwiz. In a nutshell, the Shockwiz is the Shiznet. Basically, finally broke the code for me on how to set your suspension. So I'm gonna give you a demo and show you the score. This is uh, basically a bunny run with a lot of opportunity to uh, hit natural features and collect data. So you can kind of compare it. It's unique because it's Southern California. It's very desert-like. So enough chit-chat. Let's start ripping. Yeah. Little power drift. And that's section one. I'm just gonna keep it rolling so I don't have to ride everything or edit. But basically, I'm 50 years old, 200 pounds. I'm on a 2014 Nomad that I built in 2014. And until the shock whiz, I could not get it right. Full drift. In case you're wondering what that shutter sound was. Huh. Got another fun little mini sender here. And then I should be able to talk. Ah, oh, so I knocked it down. Oh well. What can you do? Kooks everywhere. All right, so about halfway through this video now, I'll start breaking it down. Basically, the shock whiz surprisingly told me to throw out any information any company gives you as far as sag or settings i started at about 85 pounds psi in this boss fork also 2014 it's down to 63 i think i had about 14 clicks of compression high speed compression and about four to six low speed and then I was deep on the rebound, like, you know, eight to 12, somewhere. All factory recommended, all felt good until I was on some man runs. Then it felt scary. So the shock whiz essentially broke the code on the factory's build versus what the racers get. The factory build is so overbuilt that you never need to use, I repeat, never need to use high or low speed compression. It'll lower your score on the shock whiz and then be very accurate with your sag settings. I'm running about 50 mil on a 170 fork. I'm also running two clicks of rebound. Okay, here's a fun little section.
Now, even though those aren't big, they still give the shockers a lot of data, like this one. Just letting it know how your air pressure is doing on landings, ramp ups, all that. So you just look for bumps. I call it data runs, where you just try to find as many things as you can roll over, bump into, without hurting your bike. This next section is filled with them. We're about two thirds of this video. Hey, excuse me. Chatter for the shock whiz. Speeding it up. Don't feel anything in my hand. Nice little drift. Good control back. And just look for bumps. Like I said, bumps are your friend when you got one of these on. It really gets the air pressure setting super dialed and let you know if you need tokens or not. I'd be surprised if anyone ever needs any of that stuff. The big discovery is there's a overkill in marketing on the functionality of these shocks. The King Creek double barrel air, it's basically a very sturdy XZ shock, unless you valve it out if you're in the two and a half stroke or under like a nomad all right here's the end here guys one last little hammer there's so much control that i never used to have all because the shock whiz told me to take the compression out and open up the rebound. What I learned from that, that was the biggest lesson, was that everybody talks about rebounding as the setting that bucks you. And that's totally false. It's compression that bucks you. Because if you have too much air, too big a spring and then you add compression you don't go deep enough into the stroke but when you're going deep into the stroke of the fork or shock the softer the rebound or faster the rebound the more control you have period it doesn't matter how squishy it is this thing will climb up what I came down more fun than it ever was in the past so anyway Dirt shredders, get your gnar on, get your shock whiz, and if you can't afford one, just get your sag right. Keep it in the 30 to 35 range if you're a descender, and open up all compressions, fork and shock, and then keep your rebound at about a third of its maximum setting so if it's 24 keep it under six if it's 30 keep it under six mine's 34 and i keep it at two and it's just dope all right handle it <laughs>